What is going on guys? Grave here. Yesterday's update 1.26 has seemed to cause a lot of issues around the community. There's been a lot of problems reported with this update. I know not everyone is having these problems, but there are a lot of people reporting several different issues uh, after they, of course, did the update and trying to play the game. Before I get into all the details, of course, guys, if you're not subscribed, I would appreciate it if you take some time real quick to hit the subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have the notifications turned on. If you have a chance to like the video, you know, I would appreciate that as well. Also, uh, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. Now that that's out, I'm kind of out of the way, um, the issues that are being reported, of course, range from anything from sound issues on PC to not receiving rewards after your streak being reset. Some people are receiving more than they were supposed to get, uh, not receiving any gold for completing a daily. A lot of people are reporting that they're only receiving 0.1 gold payouts. Uh, that's not a bug. That is definitely... Uh, how it is now that that gold payout is absolutely ridiculous in my opinion uh not counting xp on the outlaw pass majority of people cannot get past level two or three once they get to level two or three the outlaw pass just completely quits gaining xp uh, some players are unable to earn xp from any source in the game uh, any gold or cash whatsoever from any source in the game outfits being deleted you're not able to save new outfits that's not a new bug to me i've had that issue off and on for over a year in my opinion over the last year, I've had a big issue with trying to save new outfits. Um, can't interact with treasure chests from your maps. Uh, unable to inspect or clean weapons. The bounty hunter not earning any gold or XP. Posse members not earning any gold or XP. And bounty hunter posters being blank. That's another thing over the last year I've had a big issue with. Is those posters have been blank a lot of times when I go to the board. There will be just nothing on them. There will be three blank pieces of paper there. Uh, you cannot sell anything to Madame Lazar. You cannot sell anything to Harriet. And deliveries are not paying out at all whatsoever either um it's always a, a, a interesting thing when we get an update in red dead online and let's just be honest i as you guys know i've played it since the beta i've not played as much as some people have there's some people that have grinded it since day one of the beta and really have not stopped but i think we all can agree when it comes to an update it seems to break a hundred things instead of fix anything in my opinion uh, there has not been as many issues with error codes, apparently. I haven't seen a lot of people talking about error code problems. That was supposed to be one of the fixes yesterday, so hopefully that is one thing that did get fixed. Um, I've not really had a big issue with error codes in a while. I had to do some things within my uh, my own wireless router. You know, I turned off the QoS port forward of the game and just kind of played it like that, and it seemed to help a lot with my issues with, you know, error codes and getting disconnected all the time. But all of these other issues that are coming up with every single update we seem to get is almost turning into just, it's almost a joke to me now. It's a game that I really enjoy. It was worth the money to play the game, in my opinion, to play the story. But the online mode, if you do enjoy it, it's just kind of a disappointment that you they don't seem to ever get it right. And it gets to a point where, of course, this is my opinion, where I feel like they're like, we're going to make our money off GTA. If Red Dead Online crashes and burns, who cares? <laughs> That's almost the feeling I get a lot of times. I just hate that there's a lot of people out there that may have purchased the game yesterday. You know, they may not have ever owned the game. They purchased the online only version. It is on sale for $4.99 right now. They're like, I'm going to hop in and get something cheap to play. Might be enjoyable. And they're seeing how broken the game is. And if you are new to the game, believe me, this is not a new thing. I hate to say it, but it, it's not. It, it's been like this for a really long time. And I'm not sure if it will ever change. I know a lot of people say... You know, it took GTA Online a long time to get where it is, and that is true. We may not be giving Rockstar enough time just yet. Maybe they still have not worked out all the kinks. But I was really hoping, and I've talked about this in past videos, once this game came out for new gen, it wasn't just going to be pretty much a port. It wasn't just going to be backwards compatible. It was actually going to be an improved game. And I was hoping maybe that's what's holding it back. Maybe it was older generation consoles. Maybe when new gen comes out and it's on new gen and PC, we're going to get some better upgrades. That was not the case either. Um, so I'm not really sure what's going on guys. If we'll get another update today, that'll fix this. We know in the past they have done that. They usually do an, uh, another update within a couple days to really fix the game. But we'll also say in the past that they will leave the game broken for a while sometimes. So it's going to kind of be up in the air what Rockstar decides to do. But leave me a comment. Let me know if you're having issues. Um, let me know if you're enjoying the update. I did play some yesterday. Not a whole lot. I'm just not a really a big fan of this update personally. Uh, that's just, like I said, my personal opinion. Some people may like it, some may not. But the bugs are definitely there, and it does make it very frustrating to play. Of course, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.